Well, you've just heard my experience. Well, now this is my review. This was absolutely way better than the first one. First one, I just thought, well, you've seen my review. This one, I thought, yeah, this is what the first Annabelle should have been. This was way better than the first one. Audience, audiences and critics were correct. This movie was absolutely way better than the first Annabelle. And it also ties in ties in the knot. It ties the knot of the mystery. It, it, it gives us every bit of puzzle pieces and Easter egg that we needed for the first one. And the ending... Well, I can't spoil the ending, but the ending is a reference to the first one. Big reference. And the this one shows, you know, the start of Annabelle. How Annabelle the doll became Annabelle the doll. I just, I mean, the acting was way better. The It got a new cast, mostly young actresses. It was an all-girls cast. All-girls cast. And I love the fact that they have strong female leading roles in this movie. I love it. I really do. And the supporting characters were great, too. Man and his wife. The actor who played the house owner, I loved. I liked him. I thought he was great. But when it comes to acting, and if when it comes to, especially when it comes to favorites in movies, I always think, who would be a good, a better actor to play him? Don't get me wrong, I thought he was good. But when it comes to acting, I always think, I think another actor that my family and I are familiar with could do the house owner better. And I think that the actor for a role like that is Russell Crowe, yes. He would be. He would have been amazing. He would. He, that would have. That was a role that would have fit him, like, to perfection. He would have been amazing doing that. But the movie. I'm not saying that the acting was awful. No, it was great. It was fun. It was terrifying. Now, do I recommend this? Yes, I do. I do recommend this. And why do I like it? Well, it had more of a scary theme as compared to the first one. Yes, the first one did have a scary theme, but not as scary as this one. This one featured more possessions, exorcisms, and it had a much more terrifying terrifying ending. And it was just so incredible. And I, what I liked about it as well was the setting. It was set like decades before the first one, so it must have been motorcyclist wow it, it definitely must have been set it definitely must have been set somewhere in the 50s um, yeah definitely 50 1955 1954 I don't know but it was sure a very scary that's for sure I liked it because it was just in time for Halloween as well. It was like literally just in time for Halloween, which is like a month away from from now. This movie to me was The Exorcist meets The Shining, Sinister, and the Insidious films all in one package, one package. And that's how I like to say, what that's what I like to say for a definition if I were to describe this movie to some people. This horror film, 10 out of 10 rainbows. I would love to see it again. It's one of the best. And I will also remember it for being the film that reunited me with an old friend from which you saw in my previous video. <laughs> so that's it. That's my review. Do I like it? Yep. Do I recommend it? Yep. Would I recommend it for Halloween goers? Yes. Is it better than the first one? Yup. How? You'll have to watch the beginning of it. That's all, and Mr. Blue's here for you.